What's up you guys, Ethan's Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you and hopefully when you see this reading, it is useful to you. Shout out to my subscribers new or old. What's popping with you guys? If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. It's like 6 in the morning, not even, and I'm tired. Very, very tired. The title today is, How Does Your Landlord Feel About You? So take what apply, leave the rest. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And I just did this reading. I was almost done, pal, two, And then there was no storage in my phone. So, of course, I had to erase all of that and start it all over again. So, pal, one, this is your deck. Want a crystal? You have a clear quartz. This is the card for pal, two. Green Adventurine is the crystal. This is the card for Pal 3. You have the Red Jasper. And you have the Orange Adventurine. It's not even an orange one. Yeah, wait. Yeah, it is the orange one. So, yeah. Orange Adventurine, Red Jasper, Green Adventurine, Clear Quartz. So, I'll see you in Pile 1. Pile 1, if you pick this clear quartz, or if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. When you see this, hopefully this reading is useful to you. Take what apply, leave the rest. And the title is, How Does Your Landlord Feel About You? So, yeah. What else I was going to say? If you're a visitor, welcome. Return visitors, welcome back. Did I say what's up to you guys as my subscribers? I think I did. I just did your reading. I was almost done with PAL 2. And my camera said it was no storage. I had to do this all over again. I'm tired. It's like almost 6 in the morning. So, yeah. Now, some of you guys... Now, this is totally different from the first reading I did. The first reading I did, I'll tell you real quick... The first reading I did, what came out for power one, is that you're bumping heads with your um, landlord. You don't want to give up your money, or they feel like you don't want to give up the money. Some of you, you have the money, but you're holding on to the money. Some of you guys, you was in a um, court case with your um, landlord. You won the court case, and it seems like something happened with the employees. New employees came in, and the new employees don't know what happened with the, with the judgment or... Yeah, with the judgment, with the case, because some of you guys won the case and there's a problem with that. That's how that kind of went. So, now, let's see what's going on here. It turned and changed completely. And I'm kind of, like, shocked of what's here right now. So, okay. Some of you landlords think you have a, a very toxic lifestyle. They think you drink too much, you party too much, you smoke too much. If you are a female, they think that you are, uh, how can I say it? For some of you, you are a pick-me. They think that you are a pick-me. Some of them think that you are... You have your share of men around you. Let's say that. You party with a lot of different men. Um, some of them feel like you are a type of female that get drunk and let people pour shots in your mouth. Or you're the type that is just wild. You want a party scene and you wow. Then you have... Um, some of you made a child... On a well, say for instance, you had a sneaky link, or you was with somebody on a party scene, and you were dating them, and you got pregnant. They think that you had a love child with somebody that has a toxic lifestyle with you. Some of them, they feel like you bumping heads with them. Some of them, they also feel like you need to look yourself in the mirror. You need to have self love, and you need to really love yourself. And then others of them feel like you guys are bumping heads. You can't come to an agreement, you not seeing eye to eye. Some of you could have a twin or some of you could be a Gemini. Now, some of you with the children, that's that side. Now, for some of you landlords, they feel like you don't have any children. You just, you just a free spirit. You move by, you move through life and you go through life very free. You don't have any worries. You kind of carefree. You a type of person that loves on yourself. Some of you, if you were in a toxic relationship, they see now that you're 
looking in the mirror, you have a self-love, you're starting to appreciate yourself, you're starting to see the beauty within yourself, and you're moving on, you're letting go, you're being free and happy. Some of you, they see that you're bumping heads with the person that you have a child with, you're not getting along. Some of them, they see that you're in a same-sex relationship, and you're not getting along with this person you're in a same-sex relationship with. Some of them feel like you want it your way. You're very ignorant and you're very arrogant. Some of you could be an Aries. You're very stubborn. You like a baby boss. Some of you drink, um, drink, yeah, you drink a lot. But some of you, if you smoke cigarettes, you smoke them down to the butt, like to the ass. They think that you know it all. Like you're very argumentative. You know it all. Yeah, let's start clarifying this. Um... Let's use this that being at is kind of toxicity already here. Because I don't like projecting toxicity into the reading. It says perfect father or mom, workaholic, faithful, but you're pretending. You're pretending to be in the upright, but you're not in the upright. This is how you look. So, let's see. Some of them think you have you party hard and you work hard. Like you have a, a, a career, you party hard and then you work hard. Some of you... Your party life is separate from your home life. You really love on your child, but you party real hard. Some of you, you have a baby father that stay home with the child, and a mother's out there on the party scene just tearing it down. So let's see. Again, take what apply, leave it to rest. If it don't belong to you, do not put your foot in the shoe. Clarify this toxic lifestyle. Or don't try to put your foot in the shoe. Yeah, some of them think you're having problems with your um your partner. It says, I damaged this soul connection. So some of them feel like you're having problems with your, your partner. Clarify my way, this stubborn energy. Some of them feel like like you are um, a toxic um, emperor. You could also look at your landlord this way as well, but I'm not asking that. Yeah, they think that you don't make the best decisions, that you are somebody that really fly at the seat of your pants. You are very um, impulsive. It says you're too sensitive. They feel like you're very sensitive. This is why you you so prideful and so ignorant, so arrogant, that you're very sensitive. You can't balance your own emotions. And it says gallus vibes. You have a lot of females. Some of you are community dick. That's what gallus vibes mean, community dick. Distorted feminine, so some of them feel like you distorted. Let's come out of that deck, because that deck is a bit much. Yes, use this deck, being that your relationship kind of popped in. Clarify this drinking and toxic lifestyle. Oh, you see how that just spun on my... <laughs> wow. It says toxic, but it's in reverse. That's amazing how that just happened. Look. So one of you are toxic, one of you are not toxic. Like I said, one stay home with the child and the other one is tearing down the party stream. One of you are reliable, one of you are very grounded and very abundant and very mature. The other one is very destructive and manipulative and gaslight people all damn day. That was wild how that just happened. Clarify this um this um, emperor energy, this ignorant, arrogant energy, how does pal it went back over here to the love child it says you know something isn't right don't be afraid to find out the truth it will set you free, so some of them they feel like you're turning a blind eye to what's going on in your relationship, I don't know why you're um Landlord is so far up in your relationship. Maybe some of you guys live in a house and your landlord live there as well. Or you guys know the landlord. Like, and you renting from them. Clarify this bumping heads. Because this is totally different. That first scene, the first reading was really like, I can see, okay, they really have a problem with their landlord. This right here, this is wow. Some of them feel like um, trouble follows you around. You're very addictive. You're very tempting. You're very charming. Again, you have that lustful energy. And this is why you bumping heads, particular per for some of you with your partner, or some of you trying to come on to your um landlord. You're trying to tempt them, and they think you need to look at yourself. You need to have some self love. That. Mm. I don't know what the hell this is. 
This is a bit much. I wish I was able to give you the first one. The first one is really like, yeah. Um, let's use your deck because I don't know what the hell. We 10 minutes in, it says 10, 10. Hold on for a second. Some of your landlords think you're dealing with this because you just you don't want to be lonely. But I'm going to tell you what 1010 says. When I looked up, the angel number was there. It says it's up to you. It's time to take those long-cherished ideas into action. It's time to put those long-cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with appropriate individual circumstances and resources. Eventually, you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities. Trust the uh, process. So, yeah, they see that you going through... Um, Issues with your personal life. It's nothing here saying that you can't pay the rent or none of that. That was nothing but power one in that other reading. Okay, clarify. I don't even want to clarify this, to be honest, because what the hell is this? Like, um, clarify toxic. Somebody ain't a score. Somebody's trapped in their head. Somebody trapped in their head about their happy life. They they home. Somebody's in a mental prison, and behind that is the Knight of Wands, and then you have the Two of Swords. So you have a Knight of Wands that you're dating that's keeping you in a mental prison, trapped in your head. The High Priestess is on the bottom. You guys know what's going on here. I don't want to say in his energy because. What the hell is this? This is not like landlord issues. This done turned into a whole relationship reading. This is wild. Um, what the hell is this? I want to come out of this. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, let's see something. I'm trying to think of how can I uh, just reroute this energy to another direction because this is hurting my head. Like, who's dealing with this? This is a lot of people could be dealing with this, but damn it. I prefer the other reading. It was more complicated to read. It was more layered. It was more entailed, more detailed as well. Clarify this eight of swords. Why is this eight of something going on with your house? You in a mental prison in your own home, it seems like. Okay, so we're getting somewhere leading to like that energy of a home. Okay. Um, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups here. So this is a happy wish fulfillment. Okay, clarify this Ten of Cups ended in his house and this Eight of Swords. Despair. Somebody's not working. Somebody's not working, and then somebody's working. Somebody is um, funding all the um, bills in this home. Somebody is taking their money or whatever, and it's one person taking care of all the bills. Somebody else is just tearing up the town. And with the 32, 32 is 5. 5 is conflict. 5 is change. 5 is coming to a realization. Some of you guys are sleeping with your enemy. Didn't want to say that, but it's true. Some of them could be doing spell work on you, doing sex magic on you, with this Knight of Wands right next to this devilish, and, and, and facing it. Like some of you guys know this, with the Gallus vibe and the Two of Swords. Yeah. Somebody initials could be CM and E. That could be useful to you. Somebody birthday could be May 20th or the 5th or the 25th or the 20th of any month. Okay, hold on. So some of you are going through stress. Some of you are going. Some of you looking for extra work. Some of you don't need work. One of you are working. One of you are not working. Right. So okay. Clarify this toxic lifestyle and drinking. Somebody could have lost a child. Child is in the reverse. Somebody could have lost a child. I just got that. But with this child, somebody's finding a hard time. The child in reverse. Somebody's finding a hard time. To get a job, finding a job. Somebody's not growing up. Um, what time is it? Okay, I'm getting closer to something with the. Let's see. Clarify this. Shit, wasting time came out. This came out in your original reading. So maybe this is a behind the scenes of what's going on with the first part of that reading. 
wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited. And that's what I want to say. Clarify this despair. Somebody's, yeah. Hold on. Clarify this wasting time, the house, and the ten of cups. Somebody's unbothered. Somebody's broke, and somebody's unbothered. Somebody is spending more money than they can bring in. They take spending more money out than they bring in. This is causing problems with this happy home. And this is why that Ten of Cups fell on here with moving on. You moving on from this. You moving on from this thinking about this Ten of Cups for some of you guys and your landlord see this. Clarify this house. What's going on in this house? What's the secrets and the truth behind what's going on in this house? I just seen karma and look, hooked. Somebody's hooked on an illusion of having a Ten of Cups with somebody that's living a toxic lifestyle. Somebody's stalking you. Somebody's watching and somebody's obsessed. They they caught in their own illusion. Don't you see my flex is so small? Okay. Clarify this eight of um swords and this stalker and this home. What is the truth? Somebody's cars being re repo. Somebody's always partying. And they went to screenshot and unbothered. So somebody landlord thinks, see that somebody having money issues, they cars being repoed, somebody over here unbothered, somebody is stalking, somebody's always partying, and then you have bad reputation. You see how that shit just fell out like that? So somebody's unbothered about all the stress that they bringing you to your home. They they unbothered about all the the um um. The toxicity they bring into this home. Some of them from the island. Some of them could be traveling. Some of them leaving you home, stuck home. Some of you guys are shit. Look, talking shit flew out. Some of you guys are home trying to figure out what the hell is going on with this person. Stalking a social medias and stuff like that. What's this talking shit? Then you have spiritual hater and crying over you. Side note, somebody's somewhere they don't want to be. Somebody's with somebody and they don't want to be there. They're with somebody that they don't they don't want to be with. And they ten of cups is somewhere else. Somebody's doing this because of scarcity tactics. This is somebody that is codependent and have a lack mindset. Somebody is holding on to somebody for their finances. Somebody holding on to somebody for their uh, abundance and for their... um. They grounded energy while they on the scene being a gallus, tearing up the party scene, and they have you home with the children. Because some of you have children at home. Some of you could have two children. Some of you know this. Some of you have one child. Some of them made a baby on the side of this. And your landlord, this is what they seen. Some of you dodged the bullet. Take that for what it is. You blocking negativity. You escaping crazy people. Like and subscribe if you have gotten something from this. This was a bit much. So, till next time in Tarot Land. Okay, Pile 2, if you pick, not this deck, that's from Pile 1. Sorry for that. If you pick this Clear Quartz, or if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. And today's title is How Does Your Landlord Feel About You? I've done this reading already. The reading kind of ended in pile two because my um my phone said it was no more storage i don't know how that happened so i had to erase it now with pal this new reading that i'm doing it seems like this reading is happening to a whole nother realm from pal the first reading from pal one and pal two because these readings are wild but i'm gonna give you this angel number it says 1818 this is your time stamp so it says willpower wow significant events are on the cards for you you will progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences the right people and resources will be put on your path an excellent proposal or change is coming up you're destined for greatness so again this this have seems like it has really nothing to do with your landlord but i don't know maybe it does take what apply and leave the rest it has divination abuser love triangle and then you have scarcity tactics. So, your landlord, for some of you guys, it seems like you guys are abusing divinations. Or you are doing a lot of divinations, readings, or whatever divinations you're doing for people. You're making a choice to do this. 
And why you're making a choice to do this is because you need money. Some of you um, have a poverty mentality. You do a lot of things for money. You do things that you could, shouldn't do for money. Your landlord thinks. Some of you, you do um, candle magic for people. Some of you, you're a divination abuser. And you use divinations to, um, to look into your third-party relationships. So you could see how you can manipulate these relationships and be strategic. Some of you are doing this to get money out of people with the divination abuser. Because this has payday. It has negotiation. And then you have creativity. So this is what some of your, um, and you have debt here. So like, you're broke. You don't have any money. And it says job loss, termination of employment. So some of you lost your employment and now you're doing this to get money. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tap into this a little bit, but then I'm going to get out of that because... The first reading was a real landlord reading. I really liked that reading. It was more complicated, more detailed, more layered. Now, this is all about your personal life. I don't know why this is happening, but let's see. Clarify this. This deck is in reverse. Clarify this divination abuser. How does the emperor? You could be an Aries. A uh, Aries is somebody that's uh, a visionary, very strategic. So, yeah, you could be an Aries. You could be. You could be somebody mother. You could be somebody father. You could be. You can also be the damn um landlord. To be honest, clarify this emperor abuser and his landlord. of swords yeah somebody this Aries this husband this this man this divine masculine it's supposed to be is heartbroken and they're using they're abusing divinations and they're doing this to look into their partner's um relationship they think their partner's in a, a a love triangle or or again your landlord see you doing readings for people who are going through this you're doing um you're doing a lot of um divinations and you're abusing it for this emperor that's going through a heartache who's been depressed who's going through um emotional upheaval right now clarify this three of swords with this emperor and this divination abuser with this third party. How does Pow 2 landlord feel about them? You have the Nine of Pentacles that came out. You have the Hermit. Then you have the Justice. But the Justice was just down there in reverse. Then you have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody's um, trying to look into somebody's relationship. Somebody is taking um, divinations... And trying to ski, um, um, look at this nine of pentacles. Somebody that's wish fulfillment. Or again, this is what you do for money. But it seems like somebody is. Hold on. Yeah, somebody is doing divinations. Clarify. It says ace of swords. What I'm telling you is true. Clarify this hermit. If I ask you to stay, would you leave? Somebody's actually trying to do um, get divinations and see. Will a person take them back? Will this person they was in a love triangle with take them back? This nine of pentacles. But this justice in reverse. So with the justice, the justice in reverse, the justice in reverse is um, somebody want retribution. Somebody feel like this is an injustice for this person to leave them or whatever is happening here that they got heartache because the, the third party is gone. Somebody needs to take responsibility for their actions and stop making doing this blame game thing. Yeah, it says, you are so beautiful, why do you need me? So this pinnacle, somebody want to know why you need them. They doing divinations. I don't know how this is fitting into the landlord or whatever. Again, maybe this emperor could be the landlord. Tell me more about this hermit. What's up with this hermit? And this is wild. I want to start a family with you. I want to get you drunk. You're so beautiful. 
Why do you need me? What the hell? I still don't have all the answers. So, oh, somebody want to start a family with this nine of pentacles. Yeah, this is, again, this is wild because, whoa, whoa. Hold on for a second. This queen of wands on the bottom very well could be the one doing the divination. And look, the two of cups is behind that. And then you have the tower behind that. Somebody's going through a tower. It's not a, a two of cups. It's a three of cups. Somebody's going through a tower that somebody is third party again. Third party. Somebody knows they either doing divinations to get money for people who's going through this. Or they're doing this and looking into a relationship that they're in, that their partner's in. And they're trying to get the, the behind the scenes of what's going on with the with their partners. And this this is wild. Um, clarify this. Um, no, this is not even three of cups or four, two of cups. It's the six of cups. Somebody's doing um, divination, abusing divination on a soulmate that they think is their soulmate. Somebody that they, from their past, that they met. And they feel like this person was everything. They feel like... They really want, love this person. They want to be with this person. Somebody is withdrawn, lonely, and solitary. Somebody is missing the person that broke their heart over here. I'm coming out of this. Um, it says nourish, self-growth, self-focus, soul-finding. So, yeah, it's a lot of... Um, a lot of angel numbers. It was angel numbers in power one. Your time stamp was 1818. I just looked up. It was 2626. There are a lot of synchronicities in this. So if you have gotten something from this, like and subscribe. I'm going off to power three. Till next time in tarot land. Real quick. I don't know how this is going to apply to you, but these cards fell. And these were the only cards that was upright. It says roommate, sister, and friend of me. This have to do with something with this spell work. And this emperor and this three of swords, this heartbreak. So again, take what apply and leave the rest. And this hermit energy, this Virgo energy. Somebody could be a Virgo, somebody could be an Aries, somebody could be a Libra. And a Queen of Wands, somebody could be a Leo. So till next time, entire land. Okay, pile three. If you pick this, why well, keep picking up this deck? I don't know. I keep picking up this card mistakenly. I'm going to leave this here because I keep picking it up mistakenly for a reason. If you pick this um, Orange Aventurine or if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hope when you see this reading, it's useful for you and you could take some messages from it. Um, this reading is the second time I've done it. And I told Pal 1 and 2 because I was almost done Pal 2. It was like a real landlord reading. This is now behind the scenes of what's going on. In your home, it seems like. But the title is, How Does um, how does Your Landlord Feel About You? So take what apply, leave the rest. And shout out to my subscribers, new and old. And if you're a visitor, what's popping with you guys? So, let's see. There is, yep, your um, landlord feel like you're a false person. There's poverty going on. And there's thoughts. Now, some of you are not necessarily in poverty. You just have a poverty mindset which means you have a lack mindset. You have a mindset that is not real healthy and abundant. You delve in um, the lower levels of life, the low, the lesser levels of life. You're not like a person that lives in a light is a good way to say it. Somebody's birthday could be like um, October 8th or October 16th. It could be August the 37th or August 16th. It could be the 8th, the 37th, or the 16th of any month and the initial c m and e could be important to you okay you have divine masculine here so a divine masculine is going through some issues it seems like with a false person now the landlord could be the divine masculine i don't know who's the divine masculine to who's the false person but when i did this spread i said how did they feel about you so you um your landlord feel like you're a lost um no i was going to say a lost person but i didn't mean to say lost some of them they do think you're lost I don't mean to offend anybody, so don't take it like that. But again, they see that you're a false person. Why they see that you're a false person? You're a person that somehow ghosted them or ghosted... Yeah, you ghosted them. You left them hanging. You were supposed to um, owe them money. 
that you were supposed to owe the money. You were supposed to pay the money or give the money. You ghosted them with no closure. They don't know where you went. Some of them, they had to kick you out and lock you out of your home. Some of you guys, you didn't have a, um, a lease with this no strings attached. So they just let you come in because they must have known you. They let you come in. It must have been this divine masculine that lets you come and rent their place. And it's like you schemed them. You didn't give them the money. You ghosted them. You were a person that one minute you blow hot, you blow cold. One minute you was very open and welcoming. The next minute you was closed off. Some of them um, want to know where you went because it's like you disappeared. You secluded and you, you kind of like disappeared. Now, some of this is going behind the scenes in a relationship. This two of swords keep coming out. So somebody is... Um, in their head. Somebody's in a mental prison. Somebody is like keeping themselves bound in a mental prison. Somebody here was no strings attached and it just have work workplace affair and it, it has a love spell. Somebody was doing spell work. I think it's pow one pow two, I think it is. Somebody's fucked up over you. And there's messages in pow one for you, I believe, because this card came out in pow one and I think this card came out in pow one. And this card wanted to come out. I put this card in about three times and it kept going back in. So let's see what's going on. Clarify this false person. How does um, Pal 3 landlord feel about them? With the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, you, you a false person. You saved up money that you owed them and you secretly moved out. And they didn't know you secretly moved out. You had a new beginning. But you owe them money. Clarify this poverty. Why is this poverty? It says temperance. Some of them, they want to balance this with you. For some of you, with this temperance. Or they feel like you need to balance yourself because you're a false person. Clarify this temperance, false person, and it's on poverty. You have the Ten of Swords, and then you have the Moon. Yeah, it's a lot of illusions going on. It's like you was hiding a lot of, um, you was hiding that you was having money problems. You was having relationship problems. You was um, hiding that you were like going through a lot of anxiety. That you or you came to this person with this with this and saying you need somewhere to stay. They help you stay there, and then you ran off with the money. Clarify, ghosted. Why is this ghosted here? And how does Pal Three Landlord? You holding back your money. It's the four of pentacles. You trying to save money. Some of you are hoarding money. You owe them money and you hoarding it. You're not giving it to them. Clarify these thoughts. Why is these thoughts here? You have the page of wands in reverse. Somebody that's hasty. Somebody that's impatient. Somebody that's impulsive and reckless. Somebody that think they know everything and don't know everything. Last message is clarify spell love. Somebody, uh, I don't, yeah, you left, you planned and you left and you owe them money, like, and subscribe to